Last console generation has felt like a lost one at times for EA's NHL series. Legacy issues like ping pong passing and the rush dominating play still haven't been properly addressed in NHL 21. And while substantial updates to be a pro mode and the continued success of World of Chell soften that body check at least a little bit, this still feels more like an arcade game than the realistic NHL experience it aims to be. Speeding down the ice in NHL 21 to make a cross-crease pass or rapidly ping the puck between teammates leads to the same breakneck pace that has come to define the series. It's not strange to see passing percentages over 90%, which is much higher than any NHL team could ever hope to approach. This means games can be exciting end-to-end -end affairs, but also come off feeling the same no matter which NHL players are out there. And the goalie makes the save. Puck grabbed by Radulov. Cycling the puck is certainly possible and can lead to scoring opportunities, but it's still easier to simply split the defense as Steven Stamkos and light the lamp in a much blunter fashion. Scores! Steven Stamkos! Nice! It can be fun at times, but it just doesn't always feel like real hockey. Instead, this sort of arcade gameplay feels more at home after you step outside an NHL arena. Playing the new Hockey Ultimate Team Rush mode and pulling off a flashy deke for a score, or scoring a game-winning goal on the pond with Connor McDavid eliminates any worries about realism. I always love me some overtime ones. This year's additions also more easily stand out in the arcade modes within World of Chell. This starts with some of the new skill moves, which range from the situationally useful to pointlessly flashy. Pulling off the Kucherov, for example, isn't strictly beneficial or necessary, but it's a nice signature touch. The same goes for the Michigan Deke behind the net. It may look great, but it's an incredibly hard move to score with in any situation. On the other hand, using less complicated moves like the new Slip Deke and the Self Pass behind the net have more game-to-game -game uses that help open up scoring opportunities. On top of that, meta-defining moves like the one-handed deke are not as effective this year because goalie AI is better able to adjust to these breakaway attempts. The AI is much better at breaking out of the defensive zone and finding the open skater for a timely pass in the offensive zone as well. This leads to less time where the AI idles at the red line with the puck and instead finding more tactical breakout lanes to start the rush. This feels especially noticeable in the upgraded Be A Pro mode. Frankly, Be A Pro mode has been bad for too many years in a row, but it's finally been upgraded this time and now feels more in line with what's expected in a 2020 career mode. After being discovered on the pond, you kick your career off in the CHL before heading to the NHL to try to win the Calder Trophy in what amounts to an entertaining, if not super interesting, story over many seasons. The overall RPG structure here takes the conversation system that was used a lot in last year's franchise mode and adds more layers to it. Conversations are essentially a balancing act of competing priorities that also unlock either attribute boosts or ways to improve conversational skills and open up even more dialogue options. The conversations do an admirable job of breaking up the flow of just playing game after game. So even if it's relatively uninteresting to haggle with a teammate about where to go to hang out, being able to try and talk your way out of paying the bill is a fun little off-ice amusement. Conversations can also sometimes let you set a clear goal for a game that adds weight to those next 60 minutes on the ice, even if telling a coach you're definitely going to try and be awesome after being promoted to the first line isn't exactly the most riveting dialogue. The actual moment-to-moment -moment story events that are written for you are not very interesting either. You will quickly understand the formula which makes them get old fast. Speak to management, a teammate, or the press and get a mission, then go out and try to fulfill that mission. That said, the radio cut-ins by Ray Ferraro and James Sibolsky do help break up the monotony of things by discussing your latest exploits or the next challenge you will soon be facing. And I'm curious to see how he responds. To me, he's played so well, I think that narrative will carry over into this one, but you never know. Because These updates provide the right kind of background noise while unlocking attribute upgrades or looking at player stats. 
NHL 21 shines brightest when out on the pond or playing in the arcade modes within World of Chell, but struggles to be an accurate simulation of the sport on the regular ice where it matters most. Be a Pro Mode has received some much needed modernizations, but its story can be a little too monotonous as well. And no matter how many flashy new skill moves are added, legacy issues like non-stop end-to-end rushes and ping-pong passing are more exhausting now after going unaddressed year after year. For more sports game coverage, watch our reviews of FIFA 21 and Madden 21, and for everything else, keep it right here on IGN.